up, what's up? It's your boy JC coming at you from Bangkok, Thailand. Welcome back to Thailand Inner Circle. So, uh, like the title says, I'm here with Dave. I just ran into him on the street and uh, he's been here almost two months and he'll be heading back to the States soon. And uh, so, uh, we're just gonna get a little five minute snapshot on uh, what his experience has been like and what his thoughts are after being here the first couple months. Now, keep in mind that he came here to explore the place in consideration of retiring here. So, uh, he wasn't just here on holiday. Although he did all the cool holiday stuff that people like to do. We're gonna try to keep this short. And uh, I know you guys get tired of looking at me. You might get tired of looking at him too. So we're gonna flip it around so you can see what's up on the street. So man, tell me. Uh, you've been here two months, how do you find Thailand? Quick. I love it. Yeah. You don't have to look at the camera, you can just talk straight ahead. Yeah, you love it? Yeah. Definitely coming back. What's so great about it? Uh, you know, obviously there's the, uh, the female attraction. But beyond that, people are just so nice, you know? It's very laid back here. And uh, I'm winding down, you know, after, what, 58 days or something. After like 58 days, you know, I'm starting to show some wear. Why are you with that Yeah, that partying all the time. Uh, it's got a, that's got a short shelf life. I'm on my last trip to Sukhumvit at uh, Key Premier. Oh, okay, cool. And so I'll be checking out tomorrow, and then I go back to my little Spartan little apartment. If you don't mind me bringing it up, uh, how do you find the weed culture here? Quality, price range, and uh, convenience, no problems. Convenience, top notch. Price range, yeah. You know, to get the really good stuff, you gotta you gotta pay a little more, but. I find it to be a little pricey myself compared to the States, yeah. in particular California. Well, I don't really do it in the States, so. Well, on occasion. <laughs> yeah, I understand. For a lot of people, it's just a holiday indulgement. Yeah. Um, but in general, my, you know, my game plan and my thought process has really uh, changed since day one. You know, I had all these preconceived notions. I had all this, this game plan in my head, what I was going to do. And now that I've been here, boots on the ground, I'm feeling uh, like maybe a change might be appropriate you know what do you mean a change like uh, a change moving here or a change in how you conduct yourself or your perception or my yeah my perception one but I've been really like Pattaya Bangkok Pattaya Bangkok you know right. and after my first trip to Sukhumvit you know I did that and I thought that was wonderful and then I went to Pattaya and everything changed. My first trip to Pattaya was more exploratory, you know. I had a great time and everything, but uh, when I went back the second time, I had a much better experience uh, I hear that around. I hear that from a lot of people. Once they get over the initial uh, hump of being there and they've learned their way around a little bit, yeah, you know, and kind of learned the ropes a little bit, the second time is, is much easier and, and better. Because you're not trying to figure stuff out, you're just out there doing what you want to do. Yeah, and you know, the thing about it, when you, I guess when you live here, there's no sense of urgency to do what you got to do, you know, but because my hourglass has been flipped over, so to speak, you know, I'm very strategic now about how I spend my time and who I spend it with, you know. Yeah, man, when you're not here for a long time, time management is definitely important. Um, how do you find the food? Oh, Thai food's great. Um, 
the other options, American food or European food, it's all decent. Yeah. You know, I, I don't put it up there. Now, I haven't been to a lot of places, so. But I'd say, you know, like at the game where we're going, it's, uh, yeah, the Western food is pretty good there. Yeah. Also, for real, if you're going to be here any kind of length of time, you really should be eating Thai food. Oh yeah, I eat just, Thai food all the time. Well, not not you. I'm talking about people that oh yeah haven't been here um, because the American food is is I think it's it's got way more calories and oh yeah stuff in it than you would find even in a burger in the West, for example. Yeah, and. Uh, you know, for example, you know, to get a decent American meal, you're going to spend three, four hundred baht, easy. Oh, easy! Oh and my God! For a, for a really good Thai meal, eighty baht. Bullshit. Huh? Eighty. Eighty or a hundred? Yeah. That's that's normal Thai food. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, the, you know, versus spending four or five hundred for American shit. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. Uh, so there are places where, uh, like the, uh, like the Brazilian steakhouses, where you can easily drop two, three thousand baht a head. Oh, and we did that. Yeah. Yeah. Rich and I went there. And, uh, cool. You know, blew out the night. You came here on an exploratory trip to see if this was some place that you thought you could retire to. Yes. And what's the outcome of that? Definite. I yeah. mean, my, my decision has been made. I'm going back to the States to handle some personal business, get my taxes done, all that good stuff. And then uh, I'll be back in September, hopefully permanently. I got another question. Uh, and, and this is a big one for people that are coming here long term. How easy or difficult was it to meet people, you know, meet some friends or, you know, people that you like to hang out with. Because that's, that's a concern for people, you know, they don't speak Thai. Uh, well, if you're here by yourself uh, and you didn't have the fortunate good luck of meeting uh, a boots on the ground YouTuber, uh, <laughs> then uh, I would imagine it's a little intimidating if you're here for your first time. If we hadn't corresponded before you arrived and we, we never met, uh, what do you think your experience in meeting other people to chat with and hang out with oh, would have I been think, like? I think I would have been lost for a while. Gotcha. Uh, especially where my hotel is, you know. Oh yeah, you're kind of out in the boondocks. Yeah. He decided to stay out in the soy 60s. Now, had I been staying at like the Keeper Mayor or the one place in uh, Pattaya, it would have been a lot easier. But just the where I landed, you know, where I decided to get my little hotel. To... When you say easier, do you mean just more convenient access to the party? Or do you mean yeah. life in general? Or No, I mean easier because I would have been surrounded by Europeans and Australians and... and I got uh, you. Foreigners and Farang. Yeah, and you can make friends just sitting at a table, you know having yeah. a beer and you don't know anybody. Hey, where are you from? I can tell you if the guys are planning on coming over here for a holiday though, man, it will eat you up <laughs> very quickly, especially your wallet. If you're not paying attention, you know? Oh yeah, you can blow through money fast. I know dudes that, well, they got money, but you know, they blow through 10 to 20,000 baht a day and don't blink an eye. I've met dudes who came over here on holiday and their one of their goals while they were here between the two of them, or respectively, was to spend a, a thousand USD each per day. So, yeah, you well, know, that's like 70,000 baht. You're on holiday, man. Balls to the wall, you know? Yeah. But to live here long term, uh, you know, I'd be, I'll be scheduling those opportunities, you know, but it won't be every day of the week like it is now, you know. So, I keep saying one last question, but maybe yeah. this is the last one. Um, <clears throat> now that you've been here and you've, you've experienced both trying to live a normal life and, you know, definitely indulging in the party scene, uh, what do you think of 
a reasonable budget is to, to retire here. Really, you, I know your experience is limited. There's still a lot of things like housing and stuff to suss out, but based well, on what you know so far. Um, you know, you asked me that question last time, and I think I'm still about where the same, um, I think three to five K USD a month is a good number. Yeah, I think you can get a great apartment where you want to be uh, with amenities and, you know, eat Western food once in a while and go out and party uh, two, three, four, or five times a month, you know, something like that. But I think that's a good number. 3,000 on the low end, 5K is really comfortable. Anything above 5K, you yeah, no all problems whatsoever. Yeah, I I agree with that. I mean, you can dudes can have a good time and live a full life on 2K, but well, you you it's just not it's not the same. That that thousand bucks a month makes a big difference. Um, in my opinion, I wouldn't discourage though guys on a limited budget because depending on what their quality of life is back wherever they're from, you know your quality of life. Here, in my opinion, is there's just always something going on, and there's lots of stuff to do for free. You know, I think the quality of life is much higher here for a much lower cost. Yes, um, I got a great condo, and it's under 300 bucks a month with all the amenities, including a restaurant, store, salon, massage. Uh, yeah, now underground that's something parking, fully managed. You know, I mean, but the, the trade-off is is that I live. You know, eight, ten kilometers from downtown. Yeah. Uh, but the, the trade-off there is that I live within a kilometer and a half of the train, so it's a ten-minute walk to the train, or ten-minute walk back home. And there's plenty of motorcycle taxis all the time. So. Yeah. I think the key for me, anyway, is being if I if I do decide to start in Bangkok. Um, the key is to be on the BTS line. You know, that saves you a ton of money on transport. Don't underestimate the MRT, man. Really? Oh, yeah. That, there's a lot of great places to live off the MRT. Well, uh, Chat Attack is, is a popping place, man. There's so much going on. Lots of new buildings along Rama 9. Uh, also, lots of newer buildings. Uh, yeah, see, now I've only been here a short time, so I don't know about any of that stuff, you know. Uh, but when I come back, I'm going to do the same thing I did this time. I'm going to get my 60-day tourist visa in America and then come over here, get a hotel, and then just make it a, uh, my mission to get an apartment. You know? Right. Reasonable. Good location. All right, Dave, man. It was good running into you. Let's get some lunch, man, like right now. Sounds good. All right. Thanks. I appreciate it all the time, man. All right, all right. That's the exit interview from uh, with my friend, uh, my friend David, uh, who spent two months here as an exploration trip, We're trying to decide if retiring here was, you know, feasible and the right thing for him. So, like, subscribe, comment. Peace out.